Welcome, welcome my fellow familiars. Today we will look at the deck that has all five colors and allies. That's all. Uh, I don't have high hopes for this deck, just because I don't think I've put the proper cards in there, nor do I think it's really feasible, but let's try it. Bad Wader. Level 4 opponent. Okay. We've got a bunch of lands. Uh, I'll keep this hand, just because we have all of this mana that we need, so that's pretty good. Hmm. Most likely I'll start with Needle Spires, do Lumbering Fall, Shambling Wind, and then uh, most likely play out Lantern Scout. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Ooh, nice. Uh, well, anyways, let's do Needle Spire here. Go into Lumbering Falls, into Shambling Wind, and then Cinder Glade. Okay, let's hope we draw into more lands. Let's see what happens, anyways. Oh boy, that's going to become renowned very, very quickly. That's not good. Oh well, let's see. Here we go. Nice, more allies. Just what we needed. So let's play the Lumbering for Lumbering Falls here. Sorry about that. Tongue got twisted. Hmm. Then Trumbling Wind, that will allow us to get Lantern Scout up. Oh jeez, that's not good. What is this? I never a creature... Yeah. So, opponent draws a card. Not exactly what we wanted, but uh, I guess we'll have to let it through. Okay, it's a 3-3. Three, three. Let's get the Shambling Wind out here. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Juragra Auxiliary. Before the battle, uh, okay. Yeah, that would be pretty nice. But first, of course, I need to get the Lantern Scout out with Fire Mantle Mage. So, these two creatures will swing for sure. This will become Renown too. That's a double card draw. Or no, actually, that's a, just a single card draw. Okay then, uh, I'm actually contemplating, maybe I should do McKinsey Patrol, just so I can block one of these guys here. Yeah, I think that's what I'll have to do, unfortunately. It's a 3-5 now. We're in trouble, guys. Big, big trouble. Uh, hmm. Mm -hmm. So, let's play... McKinsey Patrol. Let's play the Lumbering Falls. And let's hope... Well, our opponent is going to swing for 10 damage. We'll only be able to block to go down to 6, unfortunately. Oh, great. Well then, guys. There you go. We've lost this one. It's a... Uh, very impressive renowned deck. Anyways, that was game number one. I'll see you guys in game number two. And we're back for game number two. Game number one didn't end up being so good. So, also by the way, this might be a red black deck of sorts. So, let's see. Anyways, game number one was horrible. Let's uh, hope game number two ends up being a little bit better here. So, we just gotta get to Fire Mantle Mage. Pretty much, that's all. So let's keep this hand. Hope that we draw into more things that we need. So let's play Glacial Fortress first. Okay. We'll go into Lumbering Falls. And then Sunken Hollow. Play Lantern Scout. Hope that we draw into Red that we need. And play Fire Mantle Mage. Or if not, hopefully we draw into... Okay. I speak... I talk too much. That's a problem. So, War Cleric first. And then uh, hopefully we draw into one more black for Bloodborne Vampire or Fire Mantle Mage, we'll see. Oh, we're up against werewolves see you guys. This is gonna be interesting. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So let's play Sunken Hollow first. Let's play the War Cleric. Next up I'll play the Abbey. 
So yeah, I saw this card and <coughs> I just thought I gotta play it. Hopefully we do get to 5 mana necessary. And I can start paying life and then sacrificing 5 creatures and transforming this. So opponent swings, I'll let it through. That's fine. Oh, opponent is not going to play any creatures and it's going to get transformed, isn't it? Yep. So now... Now, 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 let's see. Let's play Lantern Scout. This gets lifelink. Excellent, we swing with this, let's confirm the attack here. Oh, Twin Bolt, crap. Who does it go to? Him. Well, so much for that. Hmm. That's an interesting deck we're up against here. Okay. This is going to be very difficult to take care of this Wolverine. I mean Werewolf, sorry. We don't have the mana necessary for anything yet. Need that red mana really badly. What do we have? Sunken Hollow. Glacial Fortress, Prairie Stream. Oh boy. Holy crap! She's actually out here. Whoa, that is horrible. That is just horrible. Okay guys, that's game number two that we lose. Here's the thing, if we lose all three games, this deck officially sucks and I'm not playing it anymore. I thought it would be a fun thing to try but yeah, I don't think it's gonna be as good. Okay, this game's indestructible here. We will be swinging at the Arlen Court here. Okay. Here we go. Let's confirm the attack. See what the opponent chooses to do. Let's see. He does block, so that'll be killed. Hey, at least we got rid of the werewolf. That's excellent. Come on. I guess he's thinking what you do here. Oh, he does do that. Okay then. So we gain the life necessary. Still don't think that we're going to be winning. Not with the Arlen Court out, but we'll see. Okay, so soldier. Okay, another werewolf type of guy. Arlen Court pumps it up. Um, just to get that plus one, plus one, I guess. I mean, oh, oh, well, let's skip the blocking, take the five damage. That gives it haste, right? Yep, holy crap, that's a powerful place, this walker. Okay, we have Siren Steward, indestructible and lifelink, and uh, we will be swinging at Arlen Cordia. Here we are. We will gain seven life here. And the opponent will have to choose what he wants to do here. He will just block this and probably take the 4 damage. Yep. There we are. Uh, Serene Steward. Okay, we can put a plus 1 plus 1 counter. If we can do that, let's put it on Hero Gomafada here. And put another one here, I guess. But we can only pay for one. And we ended up paying for this one. Excellent. Just excellent. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, we do not have anything, any mana to play any of these right now, so there is just a lack of a draw to save us. Let's see. Well, at least it's a 4-3 now, so our opponent just chooses transform. What is this now? Creatures? Whoa. Okay. What is this? Three damage. Oh boy. Oh, excellent, excellent. This is just great. What we needed. So, let's get the life gain. Now, I will put the counter on Syrian Steward, most likely. Do I wanna do this? Three damage, right? He can deal three damage. So, let's put it here. 
We get the life link. Yes, let's pay. Okay. Let's attack with all here. Let's confirm this attack and see what the opponent chooses to do. I'll put one more counter on the Lantern Scout. Doing so. Okay. Okay, excellent. So doing this is going to ensure that Lantern Scout will not be killed by the special. Uh, sure. Sure. Okay, let's pay that thing. There we go. Okay, so now both of these guys will not be killed by the special of Arlen. That's excellent. Just excellent. Hmm, we're at 30 life. Whoa! Okay, guys. It seems like we are going to be winning with this. Oh, he kills that. Makes sense. Okay, then. That is still fine. So he's going to play... Oh, this is scary. This is really scary. Because this just me once this gets transformed, it means every single creep. Oh, this is good. Okay. So let's play this. Let's put the counter on this, I guess. Here we are. I will pay. Here we go. We are going to swing with everything and confirm. Wow. We're going to win this. Unbelievable. We just got a lucky draw here, guys. I know that much. Okay. So here we go. Okay, then. Well, it doesn't matter. We win either way. So, that's the turn. Place this. Okay. So, let's hope... Ah, uh, jeez. Okay. We play this. Um, I will skip the attack. The werewolves will be transformed, unfortunately. But I have to do this. Well, this just means I can play Bloodborne Vampire next turn, so that's good. One, two, three, four. And then we Cluster Healer, put tokens, okay. They will get transformed. Damn, that sucks. That really sucks. Okay, so I'll put a counter, most likely on hero and the other one here. Okay, what is this? Oh, come on. Come on. That is just crazy. That's okay. Uh, our creatures will not be indestructible, unfortunately. But that's okay. So, Lumbering Falls. Bloodborne Vampire. We gain some life. Let's put the counter here. Let's pay. Yeah, this becomes a 4-4. Do we want to swing? That's a question. I can swing with this. 6-5. If I swing with this 6-5, he'll block with this. It'll be an exchange and nah, not worth it. Let's continue. I need one more ally really badly okay oh come on come on this is just ridiculous I should have swung okay then um, but not going to let's just take the damage we're at 44 health anyways so that's fine okay Excellent. More of triggers. This happens. Life gain. Let's put it on a Bloodborne Vampire, I guess. Yeah, let's just pump it up as much as possible. So it's going to be a 6-6 six, six here. Good, good, good. Um, not going to attack yet. Let's move on. Next turn I can tap an untapped ally, gain two life, and this becomes an 8-8. There we go. Really hope we start drawing into some red mana here. Would be really nice. So opponent might swing with this here. 
If he does, I'll let it through. We're still at 34 health anyways. Oh, he does not. Okay. Another one. You know what? I'll play this. Uh, pay one life. Not attacking. I'll pay one life. Skip the attack. Hold on. I want to pay that one life. Okay. Uh, I don't care how I tap the mana. Okay, now. I will do this ability at the end of his step. Okay. Okay, twin bolt on what? Hold on. Tap and untap. You control to tap. Let's do this. We gain life. This gets triggered. Oh no. I could have put. Oh no. If I didn't do this and I actually cared about how I tap my mana. Oh. Oh, this is painful. If I tap, I'm sorry guys, I'm really sorry. This deck seems to be not that bad, I'm the one who's screwing this up actually. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. Choose a creature to get 1-1 one, one counter, so we'll put it here I guess. Here we are. Let's pay. Now let's search for an ally. Let's see which one we want to put out there. Tranus Emissary is pretty nice, I gotta say. Vampire Envoy isn't that bad either. Ah, uh, jeez. So many choices. Let's see, let's see the time. Oh, we don't have a timer, so... Let's see what do we want to choose. Put another Colossary Healer, it's not bad. Jonathan. No, I want to go with the healer here. Just because... Yeah, there is nothing else that's really, really worth it to me. So let's confirm. Or, hold on, hold on. Moon down, Bush Leader. That's it. Oh, we don't have the right mana necessary. Womp womp. That was silly. That was really, really silly. Well, that's fine. I will pay one more life here and uh, get another black human cleric creature talking out. So opponent swings with everything. He probably has something terrifying there. So first, let's get rid of this. Take 9, 12 damage. Uh, 3, 4. This might get pumped up. I know that much. But I'm willing to do this. Okay. Let's take the 9 damage. Um. Okay. So that happened. Excellent. Spawnbinder Mage. Let's do this. Let's put a token on Bloodbone Vampire here. Here we go. Oh, we win this actually, guys. Okay then. So, guys. Uh, even though I screwed up really really horribly, we still win, so this was game number two. There we go. Then no fog, okay. This was game number two, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in game number three. And we're back for game number three. That was quite something, I gotta say, guys. Uh, wasn't expecting a victory there, really, but I guess we simply lucked out. Okay. Really hope that the opponent does not disconnect here. Okay, level 5 lock. And please don't tell me that the opponent has left. Okay, yes. So, we have 3 lands. We can play McKinsey Patrol here. And uh, Veteran War Leader. Okay, let's keep this hand then. Upon Mulligans. And he keeps the hand. Okay. Let's start with the Cinder Glade. Actually, let's try it with the Hissing Quagmire. Okay. We're going to Cinder Glade, Westvale Abbey, play McKinsey Patrol, follow that up with the World Leader. Oh, actually, we cannot follow that up with the, any of these because we do not have the white mana necessary. Crap. 
That's fine. Let's hope that we draw into it. We still got a few turns. Okay, let's play this. Okay, we have one more turn to hopefully draw into the white mana. Jeez, I, I'm all over the place about this episode, I gotta say. I do apologize for this, guys. I think it's kind of getting to me again. Coming back to Toronto, not the friendliest city in the world after being on vacation where everyone is friendly. So that's why. Um, okay. Okay. So, Oath of Nisa, come on. We need blue or white. Last time we were screwed because we didn't have red. Okay, he gets a Rolling Wilds. Okay then. This should be an interesting matchup. Oh boy, we're not drawing into what we need here. Really or not. Okay then. Tron has chosen a pretty badass picture, I gotta say. Really badass. Anyways. Any land would be really nice to draw into. I know we have 24 lands there, we only drew into 3, so there's still 21 lands. 21 lands. Probabilities are quite high that we'll be drawing. Not quite 50%, but... Yep, that sucks. Okay then. We're officially mana screwed, guys. Come on, we could at least draw into Fire Mantle Mage here. Okay, Solitary Hunter, that's bad news for us, really bad news. Okay, please be land, thank you. Well, it's going to come tapped, unfortunately. This gets transformed. Okay, so let's think this through. What do I want to do here? First, we do not care about Retreat to Maria just yet. Unless if we draw into the lands. If we draw into the lands, I might play retreat. Okay, there's the Abbey here too. So this becomes a 6 7. Already scary news for us. Okay, let's think this through now. We have retreat to Mary. Oh boy, we're already at 14 health here. Okay. And, yep, he gets a land out. There we go. Yeah, long larva. This retreat to Kazandu is going to put more counters on, more tokens on this. This is bad news. Please be land. Oh, this gets transformed. Nice. Munda ambush leader. That's actually pretty good. But first, let's start with this. So, uh, let's see. What do I want to do here? We need the life gain. We really do. That's a 2-4 we can put out right now. That's a 3-4 with haste. You know what? Let's put it out. Okay. We choose the order. Yes. What do we want to put out? So core blade roll is going to be excellent for us here. And... We don't really care about anything else here. Yeah, we don't. So finish. Here we go. Okay, so let's attack with this. Confirm. Next turn, I will do the Lantern Scout. This gives it life gain, thus ensuring that uh, we will gain some life. That's good. Then I might follow this up with McKinsey Patrol. That's pretty good too, actually. Retreat to Kazandu. Counter goes on Solitary Hunter. Oh! Wow, he is pumping up Loam lar Larva. So I guess he'll be swinging with this and using Loam Larva as a blocker. That's okay. It will just keep on gaining life, which is what we want here. Okay, so far so good. Hopefully. Okay. So let's play. There we go. Gets transformed. Uh, let's play the Launcher Scout here. Getting the life gain. 
Next up, I'll definitely do McKinsey Patrol. Okay, yes. Uh, let's get another veteran war leader out, actually. That's not so bad. Okay, so there is the life gain. Let's swing, let's confirm. The thing that sucks is he's going to put a counter. Yep, he's gonna block. He's gonna put a counter on this. This is going to become a 3-4. Oh boy. Okay. Just as I expected, this happened. Well, at least we got the life gain. That's what we needed, really. So now, we're at 13 life here. Trana's Chosen isn't gonna help us. Spawn Binder Mage. Not bad. Okay, opponent attacks face. He attacks with both. I'll take it. We need something that has haste, really. Uh, let's skip the blocking and let's take it. Oh boy. What is this? Okay then. 10 damage. Right in our faces. Okay. Uh huh. We're not gonna survive this, guys. Okay. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we've got 4 mana. That's 2 mana. That's 3 mana. Uh, we can't transform this. There is this. Okay. So, this gets transformed back. We can play. That's not gonna do us much, really. We can gain 3 life, yes. That's not going to help. So, have to do spawn binder mage, unfortunately. Let's do just that. Okay. We'll swing with this here. Let's confirm the attack. Okay. Gain 3 life, we're up to 6. Okay. Now, if he draws into land, this becomes a 4-6. And even if I block, it kills it, unfortunately. Oh boy. Hopefully he doesn't have a land. Please don't have a land. Oh, what is this? Oh boy. Okay. We have lost this. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been game number three. There's no way we're winning this game. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episodes. Bye!